Welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling. Today, we'll unlock the secrets of fan VR network configuration and unravel the mystery behind DHCP and static IP configuration for your network video recorder. So don't let network confusion hold you back. You can watch this video to master your NVR network setting. And are you ready to tackle your technology challenge head on? For in-depth guidance, troubleshooting tips, and expert insight, you can head over to our solution page to make your tech journey smoother and more efficient. So in today's world, where civilian and security are paramount, NVR play a vital role in ensuring the safety of people and assets. It is the digital brains behind the civilian network, allowing for the efficient recording, storage, and manage video feed. Without proper network configuration, however, the full potential of an NVR cannot be realized. So understanding the intricacies of IP addressing is crucial. It is a bit like the poster stop system for your civilian cameras. So let's break down to two fundamental concepts, DHCP and static IP addresses. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. It is like having an efficient poster service that assign addresses dynamically. When your NVR and IP cameras are set to use DHCP, they automatically receive unique IP addresses from your network router. And this dynamic location simplifies the network management, especially for large installation, as devices can connect and receive addresses without manual configuration. However, this assigned address can change over time, just like moving houses and getting a new address. DHCP offers several advantages when it comes to IP address assignment. First, it provides automatic IP assignment, which makes network setup significantly easier. And this ease of use extends to its flexibility for adding new devices to the network seamlessly. However, DHCP also has its drawbacks. The automatic nature of IP addresses change can sometimes lead to connectivity issues, as devices might end up with different addresses over time. Furthermore, users have limited control over which address it assigned to specific devices, which can be problematic in some scenarios. So now let's move on to static IP address. Static IP address are more like owning a permanent residence. When you assign a static IP to a device, it always keeps the same address. And this is handy for devices like your NVR that should have a constant address for easy access and management. But it also means you need to manually configure each device with its unique address. And this approach is excellent for devices that should always be found at the same place on your network. Since static IP provide fixed and predictable addresses, it ensures that devices like NVR have a constant location on the network. This stability enhances network control, making it easier to manage and troubleshoot devices. Additionally, static IPs reduce the chances of connection disruption as the address remains unchanged over time. However, menu configuration can be complex, especially in a larger network with numerous devices. So care must be taken to avoid IP conflicts, where multiple devices attempt to use the same static address simultaneously. So selecting the appropriate configuration for your NVR involves several critical factors. Consider your network size and complexity. Larger and more intricate network may benefit from stability and control offered by static IP addresses, while smaller network may found the HCP sufficient. Evaluate your stability and security requirement as well as your future scalability needs. So now we have moved in front of the demonstration board and I'm going to demonstrate how to set up the DHCP and static IP addresses. But first, I'm going to explain what kind of equipments do we have here. We're connected to three IP cameras. The first one up there is the 
5MP PoE bullet camera with very focal lens. You can manually adjust the focal length and giving you the flexibility to zoom in and out as needed. It's also equipped with person detection and vehicle detection. In between, we have the 8MP Doom camera with 4mm lens, it can provide a wide field of view and capture larger area. It's also equipped with person detection. Last but not least, we have the 5MP POE camera with remote focus and zoom. It can support 2.8 to 12mm remote focus lens, allow users to obtain the optimal sharpness on specific range. And all of them are IP60 waterproof rated. And over here, we have this 16 port manage PoE switch. We're utilizing PoE technology to send both power and data through the single Ethernet cable. And also we are going to set the configuration through this network switch. And it's already connected to our 32 channel network video recorder. This network video recorder is able to equip with eight internal 8 TB hard disks, which is not included. So now I'm going to get a computer and let's do the configuration. So next, we are going to move on to configure the static IP addresses. So in conclusion, understanding DHCP and static IP configuration is crucial for effective NVR management within your network. DHCP offers flexibility and simplicity, making it suitable for various devices. But for critical components like your NVR, up for static IPs can provide stability, control, and reduce chances of connection disruption. And to prevent IP conflicts with static IPs, it is advisable to use a reserved IP range. And in some cases, a combination of DHCP and static IPs can offer the best of both worlds. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for joining us. I'll see you in the next video.